Let's talk about question number seven. When a cross is made, when a cross is made between plant, tall plant with yellow seed, that is capital T small t, capital Y small y, and tall plant with green seed, capital T small t, capital Y small y. What proportions of the phenotype in the offsprings could be expected to be tall and green? dwarf and green so to obtain these result to examine examine this what proportion on the phenotype of a uh, plant is actually having tall and green and uh, dwarf and green so we have to make a cross first of all we will select parents which we are already provided with so this is the one parent capital t small t capital y small y that is tall plant with yellow seeds now is being crossed with another parent which is tall uh, tall plant with green seed so capital t small t small y small y now they are going to make gametes they are make, going to make gametes different type of gametes we will obtain from here gametes are capital t capital y capital t small y small t capital y and small t small y these are the different types of gametes obtained from this parent and this parent over here is going to make only two types of gametes that is capital t small y and small t small y now we are going to make a punnett square over here with these gametes and we are going to fuse these gametes with each with each other to obtain a result here we are going to make or write the gamete so first gamete we are taking the gamete capital t small y small t small y here we are uh, writing these gametes capital t capital y capital t small y small t capital y and the last is small t small y now we are going to fuse them with each other we are going to fuse them with each other so the first result is getting capital t capital t capital y small y so this is a plant with tall height and yellow seed this is a plant with tall, uh, tall height and yellow seed next is capital t small t capital y small y this is also a tall plant with yellow seed Second is capital T, capital T, small y, small y. This is a plant with tall height but with green seeds. Next is capital T, small t, small y, small y. This is also a plant with tall height and green seeds. Now next is capital T, small t, capital y, small y. This is also a plant with tall height and yellow seed. Then small t, small t capital y small y so this is a plant with dwarf height and yellow seed this is a dwarf plant with yellow seed then we talk about the next result that is capital t small t small y small small y this is a tall plant with green seed then small t small t small y small y dwarf and green seeds dwarf, uh, dwarf plant with green seeds so now we have to conclude what proportion of the phenotype in the offspring is tall and green and dwarf and green so first if we talk about tall and green tall and green means the height of a plant should be tall and the seed are green and gr the seed we will obtain will be green and homo uh, in recessive condition only that means small y so this is not the uh, condition applying to this we have to find among all these offsprings we have to find tall and green tall and green this is tall and yellow this is tall and yellow this is tall and green so this is tall and green one then this is also we have tall and green plus one then this is we have tall and yellow this is we have dwarf and yellow this is we have tall and green this is we have tall and green so plus one this is we have tall and green and the last one we have is dwarf and green so these are the three three are the tall and green three are the 
tall and green among all these offsprings similarly we have to find among all these offsprings what proportion of the phenotype of the offspring is having dwarf and green dwarf and green is only one this one is only dwarf and green dwarf and green so only one phenotype is showing dwarf and green among the offsprings of this cross so this is the complete solution of question number 7